Hi, my name is David from Patterns in the Cloud, creators of WC AutoShip for WooCommerce, the complete AutoShip solution for WooCommerce and WordPress retailers. Today, I'm really happy to demonstrate for you a free add-on plugin, um, something we're starting to do for WC AutoShip to help retailers customize their AutoShip experience more easily. Um, today's plugin is Product Page Custom Frequencies. And what that allows you to do, just like our landing page on wootoship.com says, is you can add and customize the frequencies and names of the AutoShip schedules shown on WooCommerce product pages. So just as a comparison, here is a default display of AutoShip product options. Basically, based on how many are the minimum and maximum day settings you have enabled for AutoShip on that product, it will display in this long select drop-down list. When you apply our custom product page options plugin, you can customize that display to show only the days that you want and you can name them things like monthly every other month to be more descriptive and more customized to how your customer experience looks on your website. So if you've already got WC AutoShip installed, which you should at this point, you can go ahead and Purchase, again, this is a free plugin, so purchasing it just means you're going to download it from the site. Or if you're buying AutoShip for the first time, you know, add this to your AutoShip download. And go ahead and complete that checkout or log in and then check out and grab this plugin as a zip file from wooAutoShip.com. Once you've downloaded it, you should go ahead and add it by clicking Add New on Plugins, going through the upload process, and then once it's done, you should see it here, WC AutoShip Product Page Options, and it should be activated. What this is going to do is in your WooCommerce settings, like with other AutoShip global settings, you'll see a WC AutoShip tab. Again, WC AutoShip should be installed already. You're simply adding this plugin to extend WC AutoShip. And at the bottom of your AutoShip settings, you should now see product page AutoShip options, customizing the AutoShip options on the product page. So by default, this is going to be disabled, right? When this is disabled, you'll see the default behavior, which is what we have on this page, the select dropdown. To explain how this dropdown is being created before we modify it with the plugin, let's edit this product page and look at the AutoShip options that we've set for this product. So on this product page, Dark Malt, which is a variable product with AutoShip options, click on the AutoShip tab and see that A, AutoShip has been enabled, and there's a minimum AutoShip frequency of 7 days and a maximum AutoShip frequency of 90 days. We haven't set a default here, although we could. And what that means is a customer is allowed to create an AutoShip between any number of days of these options. And that's why you get that display, um, default display of the select dropdown. If I refresh this page, you can see it one more time. So for a variable product, you know, choosing your product variations, then seeing what your auto ship price and frequency are, and then you see that number of days. So to get it like we were looking at initially in that comparison example, you go ahead and leave this how it is. This isn't really what's going to create that behavior. This plugin is going to customize what number of days is actually displayed and selectable by the customer. And that's really important because some of the people using AutoShip are creating template overrides, which is another feature of customizing AutoShip for your site. So the plugin just makes this a lot easier. So we install and activate the plugin. You see these product page auto ship options at the bottom and when you enable them and I'm going to enable the radio button display it will now use these frequencies that you have down here you can even remove all of them and start fresh if you'd like so if this is completely empty I could say I want a seven day frequency called weekly and I want a 30 day frequency called monthly and I want a 60-day frequency called every other month. And maybe I want a 90-day frequency also called quarterly. Okay. 
go ahead and add all of those. Make sure you have an options layout selected and click Save Changes. And once that's done, as long as the options that I've enabled here right, are also available as a frequency minimum maximum on my product in WooCommerce, when I refresh this, I should see each one of those options available here. So again, it's a variable product, so I'm going to choose my variation first so I can get the price. And then you'll see now, instead of a, a long dropdown, it's showing me the number of days that I've enabled to be shown on the product page within that minimum maximum frequency. So just to explain that even further, if I were to edit this product, and in the product editor, underneath this product data down here on auto ship, I were to increase the minimum frequency to say 10 days, right? So that, that seven day frequency that I've enabled on my auto ship settings, it shouldn't appear anymore since the minimum auto ship frequency I'm allowing for this particular product is more than seven days, it's 10 days. When I update that, we should only see the options within the frequencies that I've allowed for this product. So go ahead and view this product. And I'll choose my variations again, milled, do five pounds this time. And there you go. So our seven day weekly frequency for this product only, because the minimum was above seven days, we're only going to see the number of options that we've enabled within that frequency. Same would be true if I my maximum number of days was less than 90, we wouldn't see this quarterly option for this product. So if I want to change that to a dropdown, some of our stores like to do that because of the way that they've laid out their product pages, no problem. Switch to a select box, same options are being held true. Refresh the page. Let's go ahead and choose those variations again and see how that worked for us. So now we have a drop down. So you can keep that drop down if you like the way it looks and just make it a lot shorter by enabling our custom product page options and then setting what you want your frequencies to be and then using your minimum and maximum frequencies to tailor that per product if you want to limit your customers on a certain product or maximize how many options they see on another product. If you have any questions, please head over to wootoship.com, visit our support forum, or send us a contact form. We'll be in touch. Happy auto shipping and keep those orders turning.